the piece in general um, is uh, a kind of an, an attempt to um, musically visualize a marching group of people. It could be a funeral march, but it could be also a wedding march. And uh, it's very interesting because in both cases, um, in the Oriental tradition, uh, whether um, the, the, the dead corpse or, uh, or the bride are going towards an entirely new unknown condition. For me, that actually um, an illustration of uh, what the Syrians have been through during the last four years after the um, big ordeal that uh, broke out in the country and forced many Syrians to flee. So the whole combination here, a violin, a single violin, a solo violin alone, played by a single human subject, performing a very, um, I would say even dramatic, sad, oriental mode, um, and one singing voice. It just brings the whole elements of a very, very emotional uh, composition. You know, uh, it's very uh, difficult deter to determine what brings the sounds out of your, whether soul or brain, I have no idea. The music came out and I just found that what came out has a deep psychological echo to what is happening within me. As one of those Syrians who had to leave the countries, I had to go through this, um, I would say, quasi-traumatic experience, you know, when you, uh, due to uh, an enormous explosion, uh, you lose the connection to your comfort zone, the so-called country or home, and you're just on your own in an entirely new environment, and you have to survive, and you know that the, the way back is uh, almost impossible. So there is a whole process, inner process, of reconstituting a whole new uh, identity or a whole new existence, you know, based on this huge uh, change.
I don't claim that I wanted to have any optimistic ending. Probably it just came along by itself. And, uh, and that's very much close to what I feel, actually, because no matter how traumatic experience we face, we encounter as human beings, I think the most incredible and the most valuable quality of humankind is the adaptation. In that point, probably there is something very optimistic in, in the diaspora. So, of course, I mean, man has to survive. And uh, as long as we have reason, we can adapt.